beat him up. <laughs> he told me he couldn't show it to me, but he has a gun. <laughs> Alrighty, Rue. I don't know why I said that. You know what? It's because I've been watching Friends again. I, yeah, yeah, Ross, this is all your fault. Who says that? Anyways, we are back. And in this video, yeah, yeah I mean, you're not going to guess this one. It's, it's pretty far-fetched, you know? You're going to think, wow, this is a... This is a total surprise. How? Where did this come from? The Office. We're watching The Office. Oh dear lord. I feel like I've shocked myself. Okay, this is pathetic. Episode 9, titled Email Surveillance. What do I think of that? Well, I can only imagine Michael sending out inappropriate emails to everyone. Listen, we're just gonna dive right into it. We're not gonna mess around. Remember, if you like the video, you like the video. If you don't really like the video, then you can't really like the video. We're just gonna get into it. And it is another beautiful day in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Dude, I wanna go to Pennsylvania. Turn off the lights. Pretend you're not here. Are we in danger? Yeah, I mean, are we in danger? Michael, should I call the... The IT tech guy and me did not get off to a great start. I mean, can you at least tell us? Like, I felt like I was in danger here. I couldn't even speak. First of all, Michael, what did you do with the IT guy? Why didn't you get off to the right start? That's what I want to know. Because, you know, Michael says a lot of things. And a lot of times he goes, you know, above and beyond. He crosses that line. Yeah, I tried to install it myself, but uh, you guys have these things so password protected. It's your password, Michael? Oh, that's one, two, three, four. Yes. Good password, you know. No one's going to hack into that. One, two, three, four. I know you don't want to have to think about this, but if something were to happen to you, God forbid, then I would need to know in order to take over. Why? To take over. There are certain things a boss does not share with his employees. His salary. That would depress them. <laughs> I am not going to tell them that I'll be reading their emails. Wait, what? What? <laughs> is that why you've got the IT guy here? Oh, this is why it's titled email surveillance. Sorry I didn't write back sooner. I can't go to the game tonight because my boss, Michael, is an ass and making me stay late. Well, Stanley's an ass. You're gonna read a lot of those. Hey, what's the deal, Michael? Why are you spying on our computers? Oh, no. Wait, how did you find out? What other ghost stories do you have for us? That I'm a robot? <laughs> <laughs> I will destroy everything in my path. Actually, we just... Uh, Whoopee! Actually... <laughs> okay. Oh. Actually, we just got a memo from IT saying you're doing email surveillance. Oh, what? No, that... Oh, he's a snake. <laughs> he's a snake. I mean, I'm not for this to begin with. Uh, yeah, wow. White just told Angela that she has to delete all of her sensitive emails immediately. Do you think that they're like... No. no. Right, no. <sighs> it's like squishing a spider under a book. It's gonna be really gross, but I have to look and make sure that it's really dead. Good analogy. Yeah, very good analogy, actually. One is tall and brunette. Other one is short and blonde and kind of judgmental. I mean, you lost me at judgmental straight away, you know. Do you have access to their medical records? Why would you want... Um... <laughs> Jim was just like... Like, Jim knows. What does that have anything to do with this, Dwight? Meredith has an evite from Jim. Barbecue at Jim's tonight. Wonder where my evitation is. Maybe they just don't want to invite the boss. Okay, Michael, don't get hurt, all right? He's going to get hurt. See, there you go. Now he's hurt. Listen, are you bringing anyone to Jim's party tonight? No. Are we supposed to? I mean, I don't know. I don't think so. Oh. Yeah, but that could be for anyone, right? I do think that I am very approachable. You know what? Yeah, I think you are. I think I, you're the only boss that I feel like is approachable. Are you gonna eat with us? Of course. Hanging with my crew. Crew that I am one of. This is a meal in a cup right mm -hmm. here. Hot, tasty. Reminds me of college. You know what I really, really miss about college? The parties. Everybody go. The athletes, the... The, the... professors would go to the parties? Yeah. They were the most fun. <laughs> I've got three cases of imported beer, karaoke machine, and I didn't invite Michael. Three ingredients for a great party. And my roommate wants to meet everybody. Pretty sure he thinks I'm making Dwight up. <laughs> he is very real. Yeah, no. First of all, who's your roommate? And second of all, 
Yeah, Dwight is very much a real person, unfortunately. Well, fortunately. On the internet, there are several different options to get to your house for the party tonight. Oh, because not everybody knows about the party. Like who? Who doesn't know? I mean, right behind you, mate. Right behind you. Because it's a surprise. Is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, but he's going to let it loose now. Oh, you know what's being which I was just trying to get an handle on um, you know, numbers and for food and stuff. Do you think Roy's going to come? Or? Oh, no, he can't make it. All right, cool. <laughs> A part of me just knows Jim was so happy when he found out Roy ain't coming. That smile said everything. He was just, he was ecstatic. You know, I don't know if you have any plans tonight, but if you don't, we could hang out. This is so uncomfortable. You have plans? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do too. I do too. Because you just said that you wanted tonight, to hang out. Tonight, I can't do it tonight. No, improv class is the best. I would not miss it for the world. If something else came up, I would definitely not go. <laughs> right. Good chat, you know. Oh, dear Lord. I feel sorry for him. Oscar, get big plans tonight with you. I'm on a call. Okay. Kevin. Ah, oh, I feel sorry for him now. Just invite the guy, man. Come on. Why don't we watch that show that you've been wanting to watch? That stupid battleship galaxy. Goodness, Michael never wants to hang out with Dwight. So the fact that he's doing this, you can tell how hurt he is. You too, Dwight. Have fun tonight. To be fair though, Michael, he thinks you're coming. So it's not like he's betraying you or anything. He just doesn't know. You really think this is a good idea? Uh, a hide-a-key rock? Hey, you must be Dwight. You don't work with us. Oh, well, that's the roommate. Ah. Uh. Hey, I love the Birkenstocks. Thanks. Yeah, I always keep an extra set in the car for a special occasion. I'm not for this, Jim. I'm really not. We have to involve him, you know. Michael is a huge part of this group. You know, I'm not for this. I feel sorry for Michael. You know what? Me and Michael are going to hang out. I'm going to his. La, 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 la. Boom! Detective Michael's car! I'm with the FBI! Think about this. What <laughs> No! Michael! He's a very angry midget. Boom! Freeze! Boom! Boom! Uh, boom! Yeah, you thought you could get away with your little ruse, didn't you? It's a diamond. <laughs> even he's like, this is not supposed to end up like this. Boom! I'm not boom, even in the scene! Boom! Uh, I just... <laughs> Why don't you give me all the guns you have? Just... <laughs> Where are the guns? <laughs> Great. So we're just handing out our invisible guns now. Yeah, so come out of there. This is your desk? This is my desk. Your yeah. home office? And then Dwight would be like... Um, you know what? Let's just leave that image out of it because this is a happy place. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness, you made her chuckle and you made me chuckle as well, Jim. What, what the hell is this? Thank you. <laughs> is that really Jim? I mean, is that really John Krasinski? Like when he was young? Oh, no. I know that look when I've seen Freeze. it. I Turn around. Goodness gracious. This wasn't a good idea, was it? I mean, if there was one person you don't invite to the party, it's her. You don't invite Pam. Hey, I know him. Oh, I can see you walking out of here and you're thrilled with your reading. <laughs> yeah, I know him. <laughs> oh, he's a joker as well. Great. So he's on the show as well. This is a chaos. He told me he couldn't show it to me, but he has a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my... <laughs> Chicken, hot dog, burger. Uh, I'm a vegetarian. There is soda inside. <laughs> oh, God's sake. Because I'm sorry, what? guys. Can we please not talk about paper? Gotta be something else that we can talk about. Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> you got nothing else to talk about. Wow. Jesus, be quiet. Hmm. No, surely not. They're not to get. Look, look. It's a misunderstanding, okay? You heard anything about any secret office romances? Well, you do mean you and Jim, right? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I, I, it's like... <laughs> it's okay, you know. It's okay. It's okay, you know. She's gonna go into panic mode now, but you know. It's okay. Just because two people are hanging out, it doesn't mean that they're together, you know? Like, people can just be friends. I mean, you guys are very much in denial. You especially, Pam, alright? Because you're not welcome anymore. You got the IT guy in here as well. Who opened the morgue for this thing? I was just driving by, I thought I'd drop in. Oh, come on, that guy? He is a good guy, not a terrorist. Okay. Yeah, the party just went downhill. I mean, you don't just turn up, Michael. There was something going on. This part goes the, uh... I mean, he's got good vocals. He can sing a little bit. Hold me closer and I feel no pain every beat of my... 
How do you keep a straight face? All this love we feel. I think he just realized. Yeah, that's nice, Jim. That is what we are. No I'm I'm ignoring that. The story about me getting the improv was that I was walking down the street. And the guy says, hey, you're funny. You're the funniest guy I've ever seen. Or my name is not Dale Earnhardt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's the way he tells a joke and then he starts laughing at his own joke. I, <laughs> I, it's Jim basically realized, you know what? He's here. Let's, let's involve him, you know? And you know what? Maybe if they involved him from right from the beginning, it wouldn't have ended up like that. But Michael, you don't just turn up. Like, if you're not invited, don't go. It's that simple. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but if I'm not invited to something and I don't know about it, Michael, come on, have some self-respect. Where is it for you? Goodness. Dwight, what's going on, mate? You're gonna have to own up next time, aren't you? What's going on? Until the next episode, and until the next video, if you don't like, you don't buy. That was very different to how I normally do it. Oh well, peace.